Yo, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Katie's Empire, and we got another interesting video today for you guys to check out. So today's video is going to be about a young lady that has a message for the men. Let's get into it. First things first, this is Love Dorsey saying this, right? So before you let the effects of single mothering come up at you and comment all them sassy ass emotional comments, hear me out, because it's me now. There's a lot of audacity going on with you niggas and don't get me wrong because like i said this me talking now it's a lot of shit going on with us and a lot of shit that we got the audacity to fucking do but on this video i just want to talk about for a second and hear me out the audacity some of you niggas be having with the way you be moving with multiple women now i'm all for a man a grown man having however many women he want to have in whatever organized understood situation he wants to have i don't got no problem with that you ain't got to sell me on polygamy versus monogamy versus nothing i'm well versed well educated but let me throw something out here now when i throw this out here i'm gonna purposely go back and look in the comments and the shares and see what men or you know what man actually supports or thinks that this shit makes sense right you niggas you men you guys you males that are out here with the motherfucking audacity, the audacity to be tr trying to juggle multiple women, play multiple women, fuck multiple women, but struggle to maintain adequate transportation for yourself, a consistent place to stay for yourself that you provide money flowing in consistently. I ain't even talking about a lot of money, just consistent money flowing in to be able to maintain yourself. The basics, the audacity of you niggas to try to cheat, lie, create stories, come up with scenarios in your mind where you believe you deserve this and you can't even maintain yourself as a basic level adult, let alone a man. You niggas that be out here, you have no purpose for your life besides thugging, drugging, running behind a bunch of other niggas, laying up, playing a video game, sitting around at your mama house, sassy as fuck when it come to anybody saying something to you. The audacity that you motherfuckers be having trying to tell a woman what she needs to do in regards to supporting you, but you can't support your motherfucking self. Y'all niggas got to stop. You won't go see about your traumas so that you can get focused as a man and disciplined in ways that matter to your life. Fuck a bitch life, right? You won't go do this, but you'll try to juggle multiple bitches. You won't sit down and become the definition of loyalty to yourself and the responsibilities that you done fucking made, but you will talk to a bitch about being loyal. Y'all be living with, laying up with motherfuckers that, and when I'm saying motherfuckers, I'm talking about women that be having a mother, y'all. And then you got the audacity to try to have multiple bitches when you could barely take care of yourself and the woman taking and care this of you. ain't all men. So don't get it twisted. Don't get on here thinking that I'm generalizing a whole gender. No. Y'all niggas know who the fuck I'm talking about. And ladies, pay attention to the comments so we can see what type of niggas support these type of niggas. Because the other thing is, y'all got to start calling these niggas out as y'all homeboys, brothers, uncles, daddies, whoever. That This shit don't make no sense. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. First things first, I'm going to say this. I don't completely disagree with what she was saying. It was just how she was saying it. And this is across the board, like men and women, especially women. It is a huge turnoff to just hear a young lady use profanity. That right there is just a complete freaking turnoff. It almost takes away from the entire freaking message because I prefer to hear young ladies present themselves in a different manner. Like I prefer, you know, the soft. And when I hear all of this, all of that cursing, it was mainly just the cursing. I'm just like, ugh, this thing is a little bit, it's kind of cringe, man, just to sit here and listen to how she's saying this. Again, the curse words for me, man, is just a complete freaking no-no. Now, set that aside, even though I know it's extremely hard for some of us to set that aside. What she was saying, I completely agree with. Fellas, do not, do not be out here trying to juggle two, 
three, four, whatever, whatever women. Don't even think about having one right now. If you cannot take care of yourself as a grown adult, you don't have a job. You don't have a, a steady income. You don't have, you know, transportation. You don't have a place to stay. You can't put, you know, you don't have enough money to put clothes on your back, food on, take whatever. That's what you need to be focused on. You should not be out here putting your time, your attention, and your focus into a woman or women if you can't even maintain yourself. It makes absolutely no sense to me why you have so many guys out here that are sitting here on the corner, that are out here lollygagging, not out here making money. They would rather sit, chill, with their doggone friends, especially the grown grown men. Like, God, fella, if you are over the age of 18, I had a job when I was in the 10th grade. You are over the age of 18 and you have a girl and you think that this is the move. Let me go outside. You know, well, let me put some clothes on. Most of y'all are putting yesterday's clothes on to go and chill with my friend. And neither one of y'all are out here getting money. But y'all want to sit and chill around each other. What freaking sense does that make? In some cases, you have women out there that are going to work every day. And instead of you putting in job applications and getting a job, you sitting around playing video games. Now, times have changed. So... Now you have people that game that make money. If you're doing that and you get into the bed, hey, it is what it is. There are some people out here. There are some gamers out here that are making 10, 50 times more than these people that are that are working these nine to five jobs. So if you have somehow created that as a, a lifestyle and, and you're generating income from that small percentage, we're not talking about you. But the people that are out here gaming for fun and you don't have a steady income that's coming in every single day and people are taking care of you as a grown man. And then on top of that, you out here trying to balance more than one woman. I agree with her. I, I agree with her a thousand and one percent about those type of guys, because, yes, they do exist. Do I think that's the majority of men? Absolutely not. But there are men out here that think that this this type of lifestyle is it's the business. Like this this is what men do. No, it's not, fam. It is not. Fellas, you need to be getting to the bag. You need to be thinking about and you need to be putting this thing into play. How can I get better? How can I make sure that I have some type of steady income coming in every month? Before I even get a woman that's going to be able to take care of me and my basic needs when it comes to life, a place or a roof over my head and transportation. I understand that you have some people that are in certain cities where you don't necessarily need a car, but I'm able to, again, if it's Uber, if it's, you know, the bus, if it's a bike or what transportation is transportation. If it's getting you from point A to point B and you don't have to necessarily like rely on other people to take you there, you know, I can just pull out some money and pay for that. Then, OK, you good. But you definitely need a place to stay as a grown man. And if you can't take care of these basic things, making sure that you have a, a roof over your head, you your focus should not be a woman. Your focus definitely should not be women trying to juggle and balance more than more than one woman. Now, I can't stress this enough. This message would have been a million times better if she wasn't on there cursing, calling chicks bees and hoes or, or whatever and calling guys the N word like y'all already know how we conduct business over here. And I would love to get to a point where we have messages like this that are coming from women that look like us. I don't I don't mind it, right? But again, stay in that feminine. All right? 
And you addressing an issue and expressing your concern is cool. But you start to go off the rails when you start to do all of this unnecessary cursing. Using this unnecessary, like the words and the language, that is honestly not necessary. You are smart enough. You are intelligent enough to be able to get your point across without having to use those type of words. All right. I encourage everyone, men and women, when you're having a conversation, get away from using that type of language, the curse words, the bees, the holes, the, the, the N word, all of those things. I mean, you are much more intelligent than that. We have to do better as people. All right. But anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this particular video, man. Y'all let me know down in the comments and let's have that discussion. All right. Do you think that she was right? Do you think that she was wrong? Let's talk about it. All right, fellas. Don't get in your feelings, man. Don't get in your feelings. If you don't have, you know, the things that we just spoke about today, then you need to be working on that. You don't need to be working on and, and thinking about women right now. That comes later, far later. Push that thing down the line. All right. But let's have a discussion. All right. Until the next time, y'all be blessed. Y'all be beautiful. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Blueberry, burberry, button up. Can't skin, mix, race, buttercup Canada, weather, got a bundle up I'm tryna work, she hit my phone, she wanna Whoa, too bad was you know they